Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to make a 3D website without any code. And as you can see on my screen, I have a 3D website which I made with the help of Dora.run and we will be using that software to make a 3D website. So let me just show you what this website looks like. So you can see we have a 3D model of a burger here. And if I just scroll the website, you will see the burger rotates and it has a pretty awesome scroll effect and just scroll down and yeah that's it and we have a 3d model of burger here and you can see it has a pretty awesome scroll effect so we will be recreating this exact website in dora.run and we will see how to make it so if you want to build a 3d website but you don't know how to code or you don't need to code so you can use this dora.run all right so let's see how it is done and let's get started so first of all uh make a come to a new tab and write dora dot run all right uh, not um let's say dora all right and let it load and it also has a pretty awesome loading screen i like this loading screen also all right so after the getting the home page you can see something like this and you can also see a scroll effect in the dora website also so they have also some pretty cool 3d scroll effect and you need to uh, click on this login button and create account so i have already have an account so i will log in but you don't have if you don't have an account sign up and create an account then you can see something like this and uh, and yeah one more thing i want to tell you this dora website is in alpha now okay it is in alpha version so it is not fully in production level yet and that's why it is free now okay so currently it is free of cost you can uh, use it free uh, but i don't know if it will be free after it has been released uh, for the production level so make sure to make a 3d website of, on your own uh, whenever it is in alpha now but uh, i don't know if it will be free after the production level so make sure to use it now all right so here you can see something like this you you just have to uh, like click on this open project but uh, we will create a new project here so click on this new project and let name it uh, dora tut all right create project and yep now we have a dora tut a new fresh project here okay so let it load and now you can see a black a blank canvas here which we will be using to make a website and you can see something here okay so if you have worked with wordpress or like say figma so this will be familiar to you and it will be easier for you to uh, work with this Dora website. So let's create first of all. Let's create a nav bus. So I will click on this box here, which is a container block. So I will make a container, and I will make a container just like that. Okay. And first of all, I will increase the width uh, to match the website. Okay. And move it to the top. That's it. And let's just decrease the height a little bit all right so let's change the color of this never real quick i will make it a dark yellow kind of theme okay so um yeah i think that's great and let's change the color of our background also on the background of our website so it will be something like this uh, maybe um yeah i think uh, or uh, something like this so yeah that's great it is looking great now let's create some text here in our navbar so first of all i will create a box for text and here you can see on the right side you can change some properties here first of all i will change the font size I will change it to 50 then I will change the font here so I will uh, uh, choose this sale and let's say how it is looking here so yeah it is looking pretty good here and uh, let's create some more text okay for our navigation and uh, now um, for this I will change the font okay we will not use sale 
oops uh, let's use this cada here i don't know what it will look like so let's just use it. so yeah it is great okay it is fine and now what i will do i will just copy it okay so i have copy it and paste it here so yeah as you can see and change this home to contact and one more time i will paste and uh, oops so one more time i will copy it and paste it here so yeah just like that and here i will write not about let's say order so yeah our nav bar is complete let's uh make a slogan here which i have shown you in my website earlier let's increase the width let's say 200 and let's use our different font here so here uh we will be using uh ultra so have a um 200 is pretty big let's use 100 all right so i'll use have a tasty food um uh, enter so tasty food in your budget that's it so our slogan is also ready okay now now the fun parts begin and now let's insert a 3d model so for to insert a 3d model you have to click on this 3d looking cube here so click on this cube and uh, just make a 3d let's say container here in which you can import a 3d model so how to like download a 3d model uh, if you don't know if you don't have a 3d model come to your new page here and search for free 3d model and uh, here this website is pretty great this cg trader here so we will use this website to download a free 3d model and uh, all right so after opening this website search for burger here you can search anything but we will be using burger and click on this free button here to show only the free models and you can see this right here this is the exact model that i have used in my website which i have shown you so click on this model here and you can download it free okay so click on this free download and it will start downloading it so let's close this website and uh, i guess now you know how to download a 3d model and after you have download 3d model click on this import 3d model so it will give you an option to import your 3d model and uh, so here it is my 3d model is this which is burger glb so i will open it and let's wait and yep as you can see our 3d model is now in our website and you can see i can move it around and uh, zoom in and out uh, just like uh, you can do in 3js if you have worked with that so what i will do i will first of all increase the width okay so increase the width of this container because it is looking something like small here so i'll increase the width just a little bit not a lot all right so after that i will position the burger correctly so what i will do i will do something like this and make the camera angle look perfect and zoom a little bit not a lot okay oops not a lot um just a little bit all right so i think this angle is great and uh, yep as you can see our 3d model is there on our screen so now is the like the main part begins to animate it and to make it rotate whenever we will scroll all right and one more thing i want to show you if you want to take a preview of your website you can just click on this uh display button here okay you can see it is it is saying preview so click on it and it will open a new tab and show your website how it is looking 
so you can see our website currently it is looking something like this we have a simple navbar and a model and some text here okay and uh, we don't have anything down here till now we will be creating so let's wait for that all right so let's create something uh, here down here and also the footer section so i will increase the height of our website uh, just a little bit all right and uh, let me just quickly create a card okay which you can create on your own it will be very easy so let me just quickly create that all right so as you can see i have made some two cards here and also a pretty basic footer section here and now our website is looking something like a website okay all right and uh, you can just refresh this page to see your complete project now so let it load and see how it is looking like so yep as you can see our project is looking something like this and now let's begin the main uh, work which is to rotate this burger here to rotate our 3d model so first of all let me just move this burger to the top right corner here so something like this and now what we will do or to create an animation or a scroll effect you have to click on this here okay which is a key keyframe panel so click on this keyframe panel and it will allow us uh like to move our this what to move our this burger so first of all you can see that uh, you can see in this here what we have selected so we have selected this 3d widget which contains all this okay so which contains the this container and also our burger model but we have to rotate only the burger not the container so for that we will choose this burger glb or that and as you can see in this bottom here this uh, it is currently uh, selecting this burger 3d model so that's exactly what we want and you can also see the scroll you can see the it is set to zero and when i just drag it you will see you can see the viewport let me just uh, do this so you can see a viewport is there which is going down so that is that's uh, like we have to stick this burger to that viewport so that whenever we will scroll the burger comes down and it will also rotate so first let's add the rotation then we will uh, like move the burger down so what we will do you will just have to add a keyframe so you can click on this tiny button here which says a plus sign and scroll a little bit and uh, see in your website how far you have got uh, to end your website so you can see it is uh, almost there almost at the end and uh, um, yeah so now you can see the viewport is almost at the end and uh, we have to stop right there so here add a keyframe okay add a second keyframe and now we have a basic frame two keyframes to work with so this first one is the starting frame at the top and the second one is at the bottom all right so click on this first keyframe here and here you can just customize your all right um oh okay so what we have done we have uh, done the keyframe for this text here you can see here we have uh, added the keyframes for the text uh, which is not right we want that keyframe for our burger not text okay so let's remove it and uh, select one more time here uh, this small mistakes happens all right so i will add a keyframe here and move a little bit and i think that was 87 and add a keyframe right there so yeah now you can see our keyframe is set for our burger and you can see on the right side we have some values to change so we have position rotate and scale so we will be changing rotate so at the top the y value will be zero so don't touch it and don't change it so click on this second keyframe and this you can you have to change the value so i will change it to 720 okay so you can say it is 720 degree and hit enter and uh, 
just like that you have created an animation so you can see if i just scroll you can see our burger is rotating so let's see in our preview here i will reload the page and see if the burger is rotating or not so let it load all right so let's scroll and see and yep as you can see it is rotating whenever i am scrolling but uh, one more thing is left uh, to move the burger to the bottom with the page to move our burger with the height with the viewport you can use uh, which comes in a feature with this dora here so click on this burger and you can see these little dots here on the four corners okay so you can just attach these dots to the top of your website so let me show you so drag this so drag this dot here and you can see and you can just click on this in a viewport and select viewport top here so now your burger is connected to this top of the viewport and now let's scroll and see what is happening here so yeah as you can see whenever i am scrolling the burger is also moving with the viewport so this is very handy uh, to make if you want to make a scroll effect so you just have to connect this dot to the viewport on the top and now you get a very cool scroll effect so you can see uh, just go to the bottom here and yeah as you can see all right so let's see how it is looking in our website so let's see so i have reloaded the page and yeah as you can see our burger is also moving and rotating at the same time so yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you learn how to make a 3d website with the help of dora.run it is very easy if you know wordpress or any like figma software previously it will be very easy for you uh, to use this software and one more time i want to tell you that it is in alpha version now so it is free but i don't know if it will be free in the production level so make sure to try it out now and make your own 3d website so i hope you learn something new here and you will be making a 3d website on your own and one more thing i want to tell you before uh, ending this video which is very important uh, you can also publish your website in your in, in the internet so you just have to click on this publish you can say uh, you can see here you can also share your work but uh, the user the other person also will have to open dora but you can also click on this publish so let's click on this publish and you can see we have some options here so just right uh, just click on this here so you can see after clicking on this uh, this button here you can see it is saying published so now you can just uh, copy this link here and so let's open this link in a new browser and see what our website is looking like all right so as you can see here our website is looking something like this and i don't know what happened here why it is uh, leaving a gap here i don't know uh, we will be like we can fix it later okay but i want to just tell you that you can add a uh, like you, know, you can publish your website also so right, so that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one